Hello everyone and welcome to the Zen Tech. I am Daniel and uh, as you probably know the Apple event has just finished a couple of minutes ago so uh, let's take a look and see what Apple announced at their event in 2013, September the 10th. So, enjoy the video. So starting off with iOS 7, so Apple said that unfortunately iOS 7 isn't going to be released today on September 10th, instead it is going to be released on September the 18th. Now it is going to work on the iPhone 4 or later, uh, the iPod Touch 5th generation, iPad 2, iPad 2 or later and uh, the iPad mini. Then they said something about iWork and yes, good news, iWork, you know, all the apps like Keynote, Pages, stuff like that, iMovie, iPhoto and so on, which were kind of expensive are now going to be free for every new iOS device. So if you have an iPhone 5, an iPod Touch 5th generation, you don't have to pay for those anymore because you'll get them pre-installed on your iOS device. Okay, next up, the iPhone 5C. So yes, Apple finally, uh, there has been a lot of speculation and rumors about the iPhone 5C, but finally Apple announced and released the iPhone 5C. So. Uh, yes, this is how it is going to be called. The iPhone 5C comes in multiple colors. Once again, it is made out of plastic. So green, white, blue, red, and yellow. Uh, this is how it looks. It looks pretty, pretty cool. And as you can see, they even change the colors. They look uh, a lot more, I know, vibrant, so to say, uh, than they look in the mock, you know, mock, mocks, mocks. And this is the case. They even made a case for the iPhone 5C. This is how it looks, hard-coated co uh, polycarbonate. Ah, can't pronounce that. Uh, it comes with a 4-inch retina display, like the iPhone 5C, S, and 5, iPhone 5. Uh, it comes with an integrated touch, once again, full sRGB standard and widescreen video, A6 chip, like the iPhone 5, uh, like the iPhone 5, blazing fast performance, that's what Apple's saying. Uh, as you probably know, the iPhone 5 was incredibly fast, and the iPhone 5C is going to be as fast as the iPhone 5. Console quality graphics, poor efficient, high capacity battery, which is, yeah, the battery is larger than uh, the one on the iPhone 5. Cool. 8 megapixel eyesight camera, uh, 5 element lens, hybrid IR filter, basically the same camera as on the iPhone 5, which had one of, you know, really, really good camera, one of the best cameras on the market. Uh, new FaceTime HD camera, which probably, uh, they haven't said anything about this, but probably records in 1080p if they, they're saying that it's a new. FaceTime HD camera. Uh, more LTE bands than any other smartphone in the world, up to 10 100 megabits per second download, which is cool. Uh, it seems that they, no, they don't have any AC support, wireless AC support, only A, B, G, and N. Huh. Bluetooth 4.0, and uh, once again, these are the colors, so uh, uh, blue, white, red, yellow, and green. I'm colorblind, so I cannot distinguish yellow and green. Anyway. Uh, and yes, it is going to be kind of cheap, so $99 for the 16 gig on contract, by the way, and $199 for the 32 gigabytes iPhone 5C. And once again, these are the cases, this is how they look. And yes, they look pretty, pretty cool. Uh, $29 is the price for them, and yes, this is basically the iPhone 5C. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think about the iPhone 5C? Let me know, let me know. Also, I'm doing an iPhone 5C giveaway. Basically, I'm giving away a free iPhone 5C. So simply click uh, this annotation, or in the description, there should be an annotation, a link, which should take you to my iPhone 5C giveaway video. So let's move on. And yes, as you have expected, the iPhone 5S was released. Yeah, the iPhone 5S is the next generation, actually Apple's biggest flagship device. Uh, to be released in 2013. So yeah, this is the new iPhone 5S. This is the name and once again S comes from speed and not Siri or Steve Jobs, just in case you're wondering or saying, maybe come from the same. Anyway, uh, this is gold. Yeah, the iPhone 5S comes in three new colors, kind of, well actually just two of them. Uh, the first one is black and silver, black and silver instead of black and slate, you know, that bluish model. Uh, then it comes in gold. Apple doesn't call it champagne, so eh, I, I still don't believe that's real gold. It's, I know, I know, we'll see. Uh, okay, dual LED flash, as you can see. And once again, this is how they look. So black, uh, black and silver, uh, white and gold, and white and silver. This is how it looks. It looks pretty, pretty cool, in my opinion. And yes, it is the world's first 64-bit CPU. Yeah, the iPhone 5 
S comes with a 7, which is the world's first 64-bit CPU. And just take a look at the benchmarks. So, uh, two times general purpose registers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, X code support, blah, blah, blah. Runs 32-bit and 64-bit apps. And just take a look at the performance. 40 times. Seriously. So the iPhone 5S is uh, twice as fast in speed as the iPhone 5 but 40% CPU performance bump, and the graphics are draw draw, epic draw draw, I said draw, anyway, uh, so 56 times graphics performance, so the iPhone 5S is 56 times faster, I mean graphics wise, than the iPhone 5, <laughs> 56, seriously, <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is Infinity Blade, which is running on the iPhone 5S. This is how it looks. It looks once again, it looks amazing. I believe this is a new Infinity Blade game, which they are, which they are going to announce, uh, actually release further on, maybe in December or something. They haven't said anything about it, but anyway, it looks awesome. And yes, the iPhone 5S once again, blazing fast performance, 56 times more graphically powerful than the iPhone 5, which was, in case you don't know, the iPhone 5 was, I believe three times more uh, more powerful than the PlayStation 3. Yeah, the same. So yes, the game is going to be called, yeah, Infinity Blade 3, which is actually coming at the end of this year, uh, most probably. Anyway, let's take a look at what else Apple has in the new iPhone 5S. So apparently the iPhone 5S has something called the M7 CPU, which is the motion coprocessor. So it basically has two CPUs, one of them being the M7. Uh, which M comes from motion, by the way. So uh, it will be able to continuously measure your motion data, which means that the iPhone 5C will always know where, uh, when you're moving, when you're standing still, and so on. So this will enable Apple and uh, developers to create, I know, fitness apps like S Health, something like S Health uh, for the Galaxy S4. And speaking of the Galaxy S4, no, the Galaxy S4 doesn't have this kind of chip. And uh, this is how it looks. This is Apple's app, S Health or eye health, or whatever they're going to call this thing, so this is how it looks. And yes, anyone can, uh, developers can improve on this app. Now, take a look at the battery life, this is how the battery life is going to be like, so 3G talk time, th uh, 10 hours, 3G browsing, 8 hours, LT browsing, 10 hours, Wi-Fi browsing, 10 hours, video 10, music 40, and standby 250. Uh, eh, it's okay. Uh, Schiller says that it's better than the iPhone 5, which, yeah, seems better than the iPhone 5 and uh, I don't think it's better than the iPhone 5C's battery by the way anyway let's move on to the camera so this is the iPhone 5C's camera and yes new new aperture new lens uh, so the iPhone 5C comes with a larger f2.2 aperture 15% larger active sensor area and yes bigger pixels mean better pictures so uh, the pixels are only 1.5 um, nanometers in in, uh, in size so let's take a look. This is how the camera app, sorry, microns. Uh, I'm just too tired. So uh, this is how the camera app looks. And obviously the iPhone 5C will pick the sharpest of multiple points, focusing points. And yes, the iPhone 5S comes with a dual flash, but this dual flash is unlike any dual flash. Uh, so, you know, a dual flash, other smartphones with dual flash basically use the both flashes at the same time, but this one, the iPhone 5C apparently uh, can, one of the flash is a cool flash and the other one is a warm flash, so uh, the iPhone 5S will supposedly, supposedly uh, able to balance those flashes uh, and use them both, you know, together at the same time to uh, create a warmer picture. And uh, this is how it looks, this is how a, an image taken with the iPhone 5S's new camera looks like, it looks pretty good. Uh, and once again, the picture on the right is the one with the flash, uh, the dual flash. And good news, the iPhone 5S comes with a really, really cool feature, which is basically, yes, you, you guessed it, uh, it's a fingerprint reader. And uh, that fingerprint reader is exactly as you would have expected. It's in the home button. So, yes, this is how it looks. So, the iPhone 5S is going to have something called Touch ID. So, once again, this is how it looks. Uh, so Touch ID capacitive sensor, 170 microns thin, uh, 500 ppi resolution scans, sub epidermal skin layers, 360 re readability, which is pretty, pretty cool. Once again, this is how it looks. 
uh, laser cuts of fire crystal, this is what it contains, stainless steel detection ring inside which matches the color of, of your iPhone, so if you have a golden iPhone or you know champagne iPhone, it will be uh, in that color, then touch ID sensor beneath it, and finally tactile switch. And uh, once again, you can use, you can basically use your home button to unlock your phone, and yes, even, yeah, your passwords. Yes, it works with pretty much every single password with a keychain, with a new keychain app on your iPhone. So uh, you can simply, you know, instead of just entering uh, your iTunes password over and over again, you can simply uh, scan your iPhone uh, with your finger and, you know, download iTunes app, which is awesome. So once again, iPhone 5S, which is going to come in black, uh, black and silver, gold and white and white and silver. Uh, so three unique features, incredible speed, really, really, really improved camera and the new uh, touch ID sensor. Now the price, the iPhone 5S is going to cost uh, $199 for a 16 gigs model, $299 for a 32 gigs model and fortunately no 128 gigabytes model but a 64 gigabytes model which is going to be, yeah, $399, so yeah, still expensive. And you can still buy, you can buy cases for the iPhone 5S, which remind us of the old, you know, bumper cases for the iPhone 5, uh, for the iPhone 4S. And yes, they are a bit more expensive than the iPhone 5C cases, so they are $39 instead of $29. And now taking a look at the iPhone lineup, so we have the iPhone 4S, which, well, strangely, is still available. Uh, so you can buy the iPhone 4S for free. Uh, I mean, you don't buy it for free, you, you know, you sign for a contract and you get it for free. Uh, the 8 gigabytes model, then the iPhone 5C, 16 gig, 32 gigs, and you can see the prices below. And finally, the iPhone 5S. So, uh, once again, the iPhone 5C is available for pre-order starting day, September 13th. Well, not today, well, three days from today. And uh, it is going to be released in uh, on September 20th on United States, in the United States, Australia, Canada, China, France, Germany, Japan, Singapore, and United Kingdom. And then in December this year, it is going to be released in over 100 countries and over uh, 270 carriers. So yes, this was basically this was the Apple event in 2013. So uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Yeah, this video. Don't forget to like this video if you have enjoyed it. Simply click the like button down there. Uh, it helps me out a lot, pretty much tells me that you enjoyed this video and I'll keep making more videos like this one. Also, if you want to see more iPhone 5C, and speaking of the iPhone 5C, uh, I'm doing a giveaway of the iPhone 5C, so don't forget to check out the giveaway, the link is in the description, and also in the annotation, so don't forget to check that out as well. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one, and this has been pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section down below what was your favorite iOS device unveiled at the Apple event. Uh, today, September 10th, 2013, and yeah, this is pretty much it. So, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, follow me on Twitter via Zone of Tech, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, you know, like as always, cheers, and uh, Zone of Tech, signing out.